Guess where I'm at, guys? That's right, Los Angeles Valley College. How's it going, buddy? Sean Allen here, another day, another vlog. You've been asking for more LAVC vlogs. Well, guess what? I'm back. <laughs> it's kind of crazy because I know I'm not here to take classes because I graduated from Los Angeles Valley College back in 2012, but it's still fun to come back here and just see what's going on over here. We're gonna check up on the Media Arts Building and see how that's going because it's been a while since I've updated you guys about the progress of the construction of the Media Arts Building. I think people are here because they're signing up for classes because fall, the fall semester is supposed to be starting up in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, let's go see what's up over here at Los Angeles Valley College. Looks like they got new machines here. Got a Gatorade machine. It looks like they switched from Coca-Cola to maybe Pepsi. Although, I think they do have Coke still here. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. Doing this one handed. That worked. I don't think I've ever showed you guys this area of the campus. This is between the humanities building and I forget what this one is, but basically I'm walking in between buildings and I think there used to be palm trees here at one point. But uh, these have been here for quite a long time. This is the behavioral sciences, okay. Yeah, this is humanities right here. And this is the emergency services building, or formerly known as the life science building. You know, it's interesting, I just remembered something. When I was, like, in high school, I was involved in this really interesting camp that was here at the life science building. It was called Earth Space and Science Camp, and it was a week-long camp. I spent like five days over here, not the weekends. And I was in one of these classrooms right here. I don't remember exactly which one it was, but funny story. One of the professors that was involved in this camp was actually my astronomy professor, Professor Falk. And we've seen the observatory down here before. And yeah, <laughs> so I've known him for quite a long time. And this isn't, of course, Peter Falk from Colombo. I'm talking about a different Falk. So, anyways, yeah, pretty cool. This is, of course, Monarch Hall, the backside of it at least. And back in the day, they used to have really big trees here. Unfortunately, they're gone now. But I remember every night when my class was over for my cinema and media arts classes, I'd be standing out right out here waiting for my dad because I wasn't driving at that time. So I'd be standing like right around here waiting for him to pull up. The street used to go down straight ahead beyond where that building is. It was one major road, but obviously they got the cafeteria slash store over there. So, yeah, not anymore. It used to start from the temporary library, and it would come all the way down to about right down there where the beginning of the life science building used to be. There are definitely students here. I'm pretty sure it's because of summer classes, but anyways, let's see if Monarch Hall is open. How about this door? Yes! Going down. Hopefully this is not gonna resemble Tower of Terror, but we'll find out. Oh! Did they change it in here a little bit? Seems a little different in here for some reason. <laughs> the door's not opening. Oh! <laughs> the doors did not open for a good five minutes there. <laughs> That was weird. I thought the elevator had stopped. So this is the media arts offices right here. Room number six. This is where I edited the original Media Arts 101 LAVC commercial. Right in there. This is room number eight. This is my 120 classroom. This is where I learned how to do Final Cut for the first time. Final Cut Pro 7. I've been using that for five years now. Here's the one classroom that I spent a lot of times in. Room number 10, Media Arts Studio Classroom. That is it, right there. Ooh, new class, Scre what? No, they've had screenwriting before. Well, they sort of had screenwriting. I was in a class that was not Media Arts 116. It was called Broadcasting 25, I think it was. 
and that was supposed to be like a screenwriting class, but I guess they switch it from Broadcast in 25 to Media Arts 116. Interesting. This is where it all started, guys. Right here, Media Arts Mini Lab Workshop, room number 12. This is the Media Arts 101 classroom, right there. You know, I just realized that there's usually a whole bunch of chairs in here, but now they're all gone. They used to have like benches and like really nice comfortable seating here. That's for students to sit down in case they were waiting for their class to start. A lot of times these classes, like the media arts and cinema classes, they had breaks. So we would come out here and sit down and just chill for a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what happened to all the, the chairs in here. They must have tossed them. So, yeah. Or they just moved them somewhere else. Well, here's one of the benches right here because that used to be out in the hallway. That was one of them. And... I've never been in here before, but this is the Communication Studies Laboratory. All right, we're heading out of here. We're gonna go to the second floor of Monarch Hall because I feel like it, just to see what it looks like up there. Political Science One, Craig Matthews. I don't remember which classroom it was that I took brought, uh, Political Science One with, with Professor O'Regan. I think it was this one up here at the corner. I was also up here for History 11 and I can't remember if there are any other classes that I was involved in up here on the second floor. Oh, the speech class was up here as well. I also had Broadcast in 25 up here. I think History 11, the classroom that I was in, was either in 208 or 205. I don't remember. That's for like delivering packages and stuff up here. And there's the campus. That's the Student Union building apparently. And the store is right over there. There's also a place called the Lion Cafe. I see a dragonfly out there. This was built like a year or two after I graduated from LAVC. So I never really got to experience this while I was here taking classes. Kind of sad, but they used to have the old cafeteria right about where these bushes are and went basically back there where the building is. It was an old building. And now we're exiting of Monarch Hall. Oh, wow. The old bookstore used to have the, like the bulletin board here. It's gone. Monday to Thursdays. Wow. It is cleared, mostly. A lot of the shelves are still there. I remember going back there and getting books from those shelves. I just heard this thing click, it still works. But it's locked. Pretty crazy. Here's the refreshment center over here at the Monarch Hall. Where is it? Here it is. The Scantron machine. Oh, that's a new Scantron. I never used that Scantron. Index cards, the small Scantrons. Professor Word actually did a video about Scantrons. Go check it out in the educational series. Two bucks for a big green book. They used to call them blue books because they used to be blue without our green books. And this one, 55 cents. Not bad. There's an eraser. You got a pencil, I guess. And a calculator, five bucks. I'm not sure what that is. I guess like a card holder. Maybe that's for the for the passes here that you get to park. Or snack machines. Brand new doorway here. And there's a plant. So just up ahead is the construction of the brand new Media Arts building. That was a leaf that I just kicked. <laughs> this over here was going to be my original scene for my LEVC commercial because I thought it was kind of a nice little area. It had like cactuses and a fountain and everything. It doesn't look like the fountain's working anymore. That's a shame. Here it is. That's at least one of the basements, I guess. You got one of the walls there. You've got a small section of it done. I don't know what this is right here. It looks like a room or something. This place is going to be big when it's done. But as you can see there, hard at work, 
right now. Looks pretty cool. Another section of their basement, I guess. So yeah, they are hard at work. I don't exactly know when this is going to be finished. I'd say probably 2019, maybe 2020. Again, it's going to be a while before this thing is completed. So, yes, if you guys want more updates, leave it in the comment section down below, or please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And uh, I'll keep doing these updates. But as you can see, uh, I wouldn't say a whole lot of progress has been made, but definitely looks like some significant changes have been made in terms of the basement area. But like the first level, I haven't seen any signs of it yet. So I'm sure it will be coming soon later on in the year, or maybe next year, depending on how fast they finish the basement area. But overall, it looks pretty good so far.